Yesterday, we were under a winter storm advisory, and our wind chill was negative 31 degrees. So we had the pellet stove going. We were nice and toasty warm in the house, and then the pellet stove stopped working. And after a little investigation, Papa Jim discovered we have a clogged auger in the pellet stove. So we're going to be doing some pellet stove maintenance today. So it's a little warmer today. It's 8 degrees right now. So we're going to start with Papa Jim cleaning out the exterior chimney. There is a clean out cap. We're going to clean that out, show you how to do that. We should have done it before winter hit, but we got busy. So we're going to show you now. You need to do this every year you need to clean this out so let's do that all right what we're gonna do here we dug, is, so hopefully everybody's chimney pipes when it comes to the outside you put in some sort of containment for your ashes and stuff like that that build up so you should have this T pipe, correct? Okay. So this is coming out from your unit on a pellet stove, coming out of this unit, and then you pee it down. It's got a cap on it, and then it goes straight up, and then your bad fumes and stuff all leave the outside of your house. Well, anyway, so when on a pellet stove, you're going to have a form of ash that builds up and you have it on your box your firebox and you got to clean up and then as it vents out you're going to get little particles and they build up so all right so the uh the clean out is either frozen or stuck with a lot of ash and stuff like that so i went and got my uh, strap wrench here this is why we should do it in the fall before we run the fireplace and just to let everybody know We've not had a fire in here for almost 24 hours, so there's no danger of emptying any hot ash into that cardboard box. When you clean out your pipe and chimney like this, you want to make sure that you do not have any availability of hot ash or possibility of hot ash. And uh, you don't have to use a cardboard box. You can use um, a, metal, a metal bowl or pan anything that you want the the ashes to fall into so you can dispose of them properly okay so now i got it broke loose that's just probably probably gonna dump out Oops, that was it so the bottom cap was full of ash so we'll dump that out so what Oops. happens is you gotta be careful if, uh, and, and these are pretty efficient as far as coming up with any type of debris. But if this fills up and keeps filling up, if it gets higher than the entrance, now all the dangerous fumes and stuff can back up into the unit, which is gonna back up into your house. So for safety purposes, this needs to be done every year. And preferably before it gets freezing. Whatever. Preferably before it's cold out. But look at that, that took less than five minutes. We're safe for yet another year of use for another season. And this will just go out into the burn pile and we'll make sure that that is disposed of properly. Uh, if you do this at home and you have a trash service, don't put the ashes in your trash. Uh, you, can be fined. you can be fined by the refuse company if you put this in your trash. So make sure you dispose of this. I'm gonna ask Papa Jim to actually dump this in our planter box because this will be good for the soil for the garden. So this is just gonna go straight into well, our garden. There's more, because I gotta clean out the firebox. So. We will be doing more maintenance and that will go into the garden as well. So there you go, guys. That's how to clean out for your pellet stove.